The notorious Chinese Riddler has given us 12 different riddles for various Pokemon coming out in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're gonna break them all down and some new posts and much, much more. Let's take a look. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today. And today we are diving into Pokemon Legends Arceus and a Chinese Riddler recap for the upcoming game. I know a lot of you guys haven't been following the riddles or a lot's been updated since then. So we're actually gonna go through all of the 12 riddles that the Chinese Riddler has left us in addition to some other information that I think will be really helpful heading into our adventure for Pokemon Legends Arceus. As always, if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day and you don't want to miss out on that hype train for Legends Arceus as I think we're going to get some news soon, hopefully. Further, you can pick up some sweet t-shirts, rep your favorite starters and much more. Check out some of our new designs. We just dropped Garchomp and Rotom and many more at TeamShotty.com. So go check that out and pick up some sweet shirts. And without further ado, let's dive in to the Chinese Riddler. So before I kind of go through every one of his tweets and, and kind of talk about the things that he's, he's leaked so far, I do want to say that at this point, the community believes this person to be real and legitimate. And the reason being is they had accurately predicted a handful of things that came true in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl from the underground diglets to um, to basically the, the way Ramanas Park works to an outfit that Jazz, or Dawn was wearing. A lot of things that have been predicted already accurately. And we've already seen some of these riddles come true for Legends Arceus as well. So we're going to proceed with everything being factual and, and legitimate. But keep in mind, these are rumors. So until they are confirmed 100%, you know, things can change. But I genuinely believe that everything we're going to cover here today is going to come to fruition. And we will see in Legends Arceus. So let's talk about some of the newer stuff. And then we're going to go through a massive recap of all the riddles and all the Pokemon forms that we're going to see. The Riddler comes out and says you can only keep one thing. IVs, candy, breeding, or held items. So these are four things, and I believe this is a kind of teaser towards Legends Arceus. And what this tells me is it's very likely that we're going to be getting rid of IVs, we're probably getting rid of breeding, and we're probably getting rid of held items. And the reason why I think that is we already know rare candies exist. Now, are rare candies and candies in the same category? I don't know. But the candy system that was introduced in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee allowed you to train your Pokemon very effectively. And it seems as though Riddler is saying that one of these things is going to stay, the rest are going to go. And I can see them getting rid of IVs and breeding simultaneously. Like, those two kind of go hand in hand. If you get rid of IVs, you really don't need breeding that much. And then held items, I can see them getting rid of held items in Legends Arceus. But maybe they keep held items, maybe they get rid of candies. I'm not sure which one. I think if you're keeping one in Legends Arceus, it's either candies or held items. And again, we do have screenshots showing that rare candies themselves exist. Whether or not that's tied together, I don't know. R the Riddler also goes on to say that the game has its own built-in clock, which I think is awesome, much like Legends of the Breath of the Wild. You won't have to play at nighttime to get nighttime spawns. You won't have to play in the morning to get morning time spawns. The game is going to have its own clock, so maybe every hour, every two hours, it's going to cycle through a full day, which I feel like is great. Uh, I generally play during the same time every day, so because of that, I don't play during different times. And we know that the spawns in certain locations are going to be basically day and night spawns. We know 100% that's a thing, as we've seen trailers and screenshots showing that the same location spawning different Pokemon at different times of day. So, nice to get confirmation there from the Riddler. The Riddler also goes on to say that early Pokemon are easy to deal with, but the more you progress, the trickier it'll be, and some species are quite annoying. They said that this game can be quite grindy when you start to get through it. The main objective is going to be the dex completion or this uh, research completion, and not only are you going to catch a Pokemon, but you're going to have to uh, basically research it more. There's going to be other tasks, as we've seen through screenshots of Shinx, where you have to see Shinx do Quick Attack X amount of times. You have to find various forms of this Pokemon. So there's going to be a lot of repetitive stuff there. He says several types of quests, like finding Pokemon, catching Pokemon, minigame missions. If completed, you get rewarded with items or gift Pokemon. Um, it's hard to upgrade the dex level. It requires a ton of grinding. So those who like 100% in games and things like that, I think Legends Arceus is going to be for you. I'm personally really excited about it. So I'm down. I'm down to grind it. And my guess right now is that the further along your dex page is for that particular Pokemon, the higher the shiny chance of finding them. That's just a hunch. We'll see what happens when the game actually drops. Now we're going to talk about the riddles. And this is the big thing. This is the big meat and potatoes of what's going on. Big shout outs to Soul Silver Art, who I'm going to have in the description below, uh, who, who went through and broke down all these riddles and really compiled not only the general consensus of the community, but all the posts from the Riddler in general. And we're going to talk about every single one of these things. So the first thing we have is we have 12 different riddles, right? And a lot of these riddles may just seem like random pictures. You've got 
two clouds with hearts. You've got some girl in a dress. You've got a random Pokeball. You've got all sorts of stuff. But that's that's where we kind of break down these riddles. So the first one is the 100 Vessels Ghostly Typhlosion. So the general consensus right now in the community is that we are getting new Hisuian forms for the final starters. So Rowlet, Cyndaquil, Oshawott will still evolve into Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott. However, they're gonna have new Hisuian forms. And the first of those is the first riddle, which is hinting towards a ghostly Typhlosion. The tweet is below is a hint to the other Hisuian starter forms, but it goes to that. So the idea behind this is the this character is the night parade of 100 demons, which is an eruption of supernatural world into our own. The idea behind it is that basically this 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 person is a riddle towards this eruption of souls ultimately leading towards us believing that we are going to get a ghost and fire type typhlosion i may not have done the best job explaining that but that's the cons consensus across the community is the new typing for typhlosion is ghost type typhlosion and we'll talk about the other types of the other pokemon as well the second picture is Zoro and Perona, which is a ghost princess. And ultimately, this was a teaser towards us getting the new Hisuian Zoroark line, which is ghost and normal. And again, you can probably make the connection there. The Perona ghost princess and Zoro, which is Zoroark. This is really what brought a lot of credibility to the Chinese Riddler, which again had already had, you know, credibility through previous generations of leaking various things. So I don't think anyone's questioning at that part. Number three is one of the ones that we're very unsure of still. This is a new post game Mon, sounds like a mythical or legendary. So it could be related to Manaphy, but it also could be an entirely new legend or myth Pokemon. And I'm sure once the game actually comes out, we'll find out what these two cloud hearts actually mean and what this is tied to. Some people, again, are speculating Manaphy because of Heart Swap, um, but we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. This also goes on to say that there was a rumor back in September about a new for force of nature, which would tie in with Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus, and this new force of nature uh, may be based on the Yokai Genbu. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case, but ultimately, uh, there could be kind of a new uh, weather nature type legendary that gets out of there, and that's what this is teasing towards. Number four has pretty much already been confirmed to be the Voltorb line. There is a lot of reason to believe that we are gonna get a Hisuian Voltorb, and we had this image leaked of the various Pokemon, Piplup, Rowlet, Oshawa, and Cyndaquil, and of course, Electrode and Voltorb. And again, that Pokeball there was a hint towards us getting that Hisuian Voltorb line. So again, this is one that everyone's pretty much assumed at this point. So expect to see a new Hisuian Voltorb, what the typing is and things like that. We simply don't know yet, but expect to see that line be announced at some point. So now we dive into number five, which is probably the most confusing of the riddles, which is basically it's called Nishi Kino Maki from Love Live. She's an Ojo Sama, but it's difficult to explain what that is in English. So I guess this person is corresponding it to a rich girl or lady. Lilligan is the only Pokemon that has officially used this word. I believe Ku's first tweet was pointing out the girl tells us what the Pokemon is, while the second gives us further details into what this Pokemon that a few nail, uh, fans nailed, similar to how he made follow-ups describing other riddles like Sneasel's evolution. Uh, when you Google Ojo Sama, it brought me to the Pokemon manga character Dawn, of all people, who uses the exact same word lady that TPC used. So for those that don't know, Arezu is the warden and the number five riddle it ties to Arezu's warden Pokemon. Just like we know that various wardens throughout the game have their warden Pokemon like Basculegion and Cleaver. Well, it seems as though the warden Arezu is gonna have her own lady-like Pokemon, which is the term from Pokemon themselves. So what is that Pokemon gonna be? A lot of speculation that it could be tied to Lilligant, some speculation that it could be tied to Jinx. We're not really sure what this one's actually tied to, but we do know that Ku has confirmed, or the Riddler has confirmed, that there's a handful of Pokemon that it will not be, which is Levani and Florgus, because a lot of these Pokemon on this image here are not going to be appearing in Legends Arceus, according to the Riddler. So number five, probably the most confusing one we've had so far, because again, we just don't know what that's gonna turn into, but there's a lot of speculation of what that ladylike Pokemon could be. I think once it gets announced, it'll be pretty obvious. Number six was the most obvious for the Asian Pokemon, Katori equals Little Bird, which is a nickname for Rowlet, and the muscles indicate a fighting type. So this image here, a lot of people immediately jump towards, okay, this is very clearly a fighting type Deciduate or uh, Hisui and Decidueye, and that's what a lot of people are expecting that we're gonna get a fighting and grass type Decidueye form for Legends Arceus. 
Now, number seven is one that came to fruition more recently that we talked about in a previous video. But uh, Ku, the orig original Riddler, said the kanji on the image is key, but the original image from the screenshot of this cactus is basically adding up to Blowfish slash Quillfish's name in Japanese. The skill of the cactus, which means a thousand needles, based on the Japanese name of Quillfish, the cactus has a stronger skill, meaning 10,000 needles. Maybe it's the Evo name of Quillfish. So again, we, we really believe that we're getting a Quillfish evolution. And then even further, in Pokemon BDSP, there's a story in the Candlelave library that talks about a Quillfish with huge spikes, and normal Quillfish doesn't have huge spikes. So therefore, again, we think this is a teaser towards a new Quillfish form or a new Quillfish evolution. So I'm on board. Number eight is this little snail uh, riddle, which has been confirmed by the Riddler. They This was teased for a long time, but they have come out and said that that is the Gudra line, Dragon Steel type. I hope the community doesn't, <laughs> then they go on to say that the community doesn't deserve leaks anymore, yet they've continued to leak, but that's fine with me. So we've already confirmed that it is going to be the Steel and Dragon Gudra line. But this is saying, uh, this person says, it's important to stress that there's a high chance it's not the entire Gudra line, leaving space for another pre-evolution. Um, we'll have to wait and see whether or not it's going to be, you know, uh, Gudra entirely or it's going to be Gumi evolving into something different or what's going to happen. But expect to see some sort of Steel Dragon variation of that at Pokemon line. Number nine is one that was confusing for a while, but the Moth in the Moon was eventually uh, basically solved to mean Moonlight Gecko, Moth meaning Ga, which was a relation to Greninja. And it was actually tying to its type, which is Water Dark. And then that could be then applied to Samurott. And we find out that Samurott's new Hisuian typing is going to be Water and Dark. It took a while for the community to come to this, but once we did, it was pretty much confirmed by the Riddler. So again, our final starter types that we're expecting are going to be Ghost and Fire Typhlosion, Fighting and Grass Decidueye, and Water and Dark Samurott. Remains to be seen whether that comes true, but I'm on board. I believe it. So let's see. Number 10 is this big barge in the water. And it says, you know, the Riddler goes on to say that this Pokemon was based on this thing visually. Its Chinese name accidentally leaked its type. What a coincidence. And a lot of people are considering that it is some sort of Bergmite form, or it could be some sort of Avalug form. And a lot of people are speculating that it is going to ultimately be rock and ice type. Um, and we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But he mentions that. The, the, uh, the idea behind it is it's, it's Chinese name leaked its type, which its type is, uh, it would end up ultimately being rock and ice. So we'll have to wait and see if that comes true, but we're expecting it to be based on Avalug. Number 11 is another one that has been kind of tossed around the community for a long time. It gets explained in this uh, manga called Esper Mami. It features a weasel scarf that is animated by psychic powers to the protagonist. Ultimately, the protagonist, like, or the, the, uh, the yokai ends up scratching her neck. And anyway, it all it all rate, relates back in in, a, in an obscure way to Sneasel and the Pokemon Sneasel getting not only uh, a new evolution, maybe separate from Weavile, but this Pokemon is going to be the climbing Pokemon that was originally shown in the leaks before Legends Arceus was even officially confirmed of this climbing Pokemon. So the community again has pretty much agreed in, in, in consensus that we are getting some sort of Sneasel variation and it is gonna be the climbing Pokemon in the game, much like Weird Deer, you ride on and Basket Legion, you ride on in the water, etc. And the Riddler also came out to do some teasing in terms of the typing and the typing that was teased is poison and fighting at this point for that Sneasel line. So we'll wait and see if it's poison and fighting, but that'd be a pretty cool typing, much like Toxicroak. And last but certainly not least is number 12, which is this big bear. Uh, Ku all but said flat out that Centro stole this info from him, that it's an Ursaring, possibly rideable Evo. Small chance it's a Teddy Ursa split evolution, but that's just speculation. The Riddler says you knew what this was from the thief and Centro came out and said that it's an Ursaring evolution and it's rideable. Some have speculated that it could be a Spinda evolution, but there's no evidence based on that. But a lot of people are speculating that number 12 is related to Ursaring. We did see Ursaring through um, some trailers, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to have another evolution or some sort of variation to it. So we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. So I know there was a lot of talk and a lot of speculation, but that's what's caught up. That's what's going on in the Riddle world from the Chinese Riddler and everything that's been going on for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hopefully you found this video entertaining and helpful as you get caught up on everything going on. And hopefully we'll get a trailer soon. And all it really takes is one more trailer revealing Voltorb or something like that to really give us even more confirmation. But I think the general elite community is believing that most of this is gonna come to fruition. So we'll wait and see. 
as we get closer guys we're about six weeks away from when legends arceus probably leaks and about two months away until it actually comes out so we're gonna get some crazy information very soon like the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new that's gonna be for me guys my name is dan i also go by a drive and i'll see you guys on the next one peace